It's the holidays, one of the hardest times of the year. I know that during these times, we can face isolation and separation. If you miss your kids, I understand. Believe me, these times can be very, very hard. If you're going through it, there is help. Please call the number on the screen and talk to someone. You can get through this. I promise, man, this too shall pass. And in the time of suffering, when you make it through this, just know that even when it's hard, even when you're suffering, even when you're sad, even when depression is kicking your ass, you are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. I've gone years without seeing my children. From separation and incarceration, there were Christmases where I was just thinking about my babies, wishing that I could hold them and touch them. I was in county during Christmas, and during Christmas, all I wanted was to see my babies' faces, but I knew through the situation, I couldn't touch them, and so I could just pray. That's all I could do was just pray and talk to my Creator, Almighty Creator, please help me through this tough, tough situation. And I was reading A Purpose Driven Life, and I remember this distinctly. It was a pivotal moment of my life. I read something, and it said that you will see your children again. You will watch your children sleep. And when I read that, I just started crying. I mean, tears just started running down my face. I cried so hard. And I know some of the other men, they wanted to talk to me and console me, but I knew they were going through the exact same thing, missing their children. Father separation, father alienation is destroying so many millions of men in America, and that's not a conversation. The hardest thing to do when you're going through really tough times is to have faith. And when I read The Purpose Driven Life, all of a sudden, my faith was restored. And on today, on today, on the week of Christmas, Project Daddy has his babies. And I stand at the doorway and I watch my children sleep. And it's so amazing. God was listening and answered my prayers. It took years, lots of suffering, but perseverance made it possible. If you are a parent who is facing separation from your child, there is no suffering that is as long as missing your children. That void in your heart cannot be filled with anything but faith and hope that one day you will see your children again. After everything I've been through, I could easily jump into the gender war and start saying, baby mama, you did this and baby mama, you did that. I could do that. That's easy. After you suffered hard, all of a sudden, your gratitude and your determination, it just changes. Your thought patterns, they change. And you believe something completely different. Man, I'm so thankful for my baby mama. Without her, I wouldn't have the hope of seeing my children again. She helped me make these beautiful children. I want to tell you, man, the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The only thing that's going to save this great nation if working class and poor folks fall in love all over again. Man, I'm trying to tell you. It's irrational for the American person to think that they can do this thing called life all by themselves. You weren't designed that way. Your anatomy, your biology, your chemistry, your mentality is designed to have a collaborative effort with another person, hopefully a beautiful woman, a beautiful spirit of love will save America. I'm trying to tell you love will save America. Fall in love, but you got to fall in love with the idea of duty and responsibility. I'm not falling in love to feel good. Once I fall in love, this other person, they feelings are my responsibility. I want to make sure that this person's well-being is okay, man. I'm fighting for love in America. This is the biggest battle during Christmas time. If you're putting anything on your list, ask for the ability to display love. You hear me? If you want to ask Santa for anything, you better ask Santa for the courage and the commitment to fall in love with somebody, to long suffer, to withstand all the hard things that come with relationships. Falling in love is an economic transaction. Having a family is an economic transaction. If you look at the tax code, getting married is one of the biggest tax breaks you can get. Having children is one of the biggest tax breaks you can get. Buying a home is one of the biggest tax breaks you can get. If you understand the tax code, it's promoting family. It's promoting you being economically viable. And the only way that you as a sovereign citizen can be economically viable is if you have a power structure. What's your power structure? Here's a gift from Project Daddy. Having a family in America is an economic power system. If you have a child and you do not have a family, if you do not stay in the same home, then you are robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're supposed to be putting all your energy into this child, but instead of putting all of your energy and effort into building this wonderful child and giving them a Merry Christmas, buying them all the wonderful gifts that any child their whole heart could ever imagine, instead of doing these things, we're robbing our children of the most fantastic experience because we want to be selfish and we don't want to have duty and responsibility to be committed to the thing that we created. How dare we? How dare we hold children accountable for our decisions? Abuse is a buzzword in America. 
But when we talk about abuse, we only want to talk about physical abuse. We don't want to talk about mental abuse. We won't talk about no emotional abuse. We won't talk. We will not talk about emotional or mental trauma in America. When you take a child away from their father, when you separate a child from the other biological parent, man, you're creating trauma. You're not giving that child no Christmas gifts. You are not being a blessing to that child. And so if we're going to have honest conversations, please, I want to tell you something, man. If you're in a relationship and you fall out of love, whatever that might mean, if you get your feelings hurt, I want to tell you, man, with all due respect, trigger warning. If you're scared, go to church. But man, fuck your feelings. Your feelings do not matter. Your feelings do not matter when it comes to raising your children. We have to fight back against the ideology that tells us that independence is the way to go. Man, that is not the way to go. I'm trying to tell you. The moment you start talking to Project Daddy about your feelings, I'm going to start talking to you about the tax code. The moment you start talking to me about how someone hurt your feelings or they cheated on you or whatever the infidelity was, however your feelings were hurt, I want to tell you it's time to put your big boy drawers on, your big girl panties on and fight for a right. You hear me? You want to, That child had no say in coming into this world. I don't want to have any discussion about what the other person did wrong. The only discussion that I want to have in America is what you can do right. Right now, Project Daddy is in a co-parenting relationship, and I promise I'm doing the best that I can, but economically, I'm not providing for my children the way that they deserve. It's impossible. I cannot take care of my ex-wife and myself simultaneously. That is a financial impossibility. Unless tomorrow I hit the lotto, or unless today you start sharing my videos and telling people to watch Project Daddy, and then look down there at the bottom and hit that dollar sign PJDDY to make sure that I can continue to fight for freedom. If you not going to support the fight for freedom then listen here i'm going to have to face the reality that my children are going to have economic instability it's the truth it's the god's honest truth and even though i know that i can't give my children the economic well-being that they deserve i try to give them all the love in my heart i try to impart all the wisdom that i can to make sure they develop into being wonderful citizens the greatest american alive the greatest american alive I want to make sure they don't walk in their daddy's footsteps and then find themselves in incarceration in this nation. If you look like me, it's one in three. And if you look like other folks, men in America is one in seven. The mass incarceration system is destroying America. But if you have a man who is incarcerated, you got to stand by that person. We're doing the long haul thing. Our children have 18 years of our care and our supervision and our nurturing. And if we don't provide them with these basic resources for them to become mature wonderful people we have to hold ourselves accountable for the things that we did not do as the creators of these wonderful children as citizens of this great nation we have to hold ourselves accountable by not holding up our civic duty to make sure that our communities are strong viable communities there's no easy way out of the devastation that's happened in america the only way that we can get out of this thing is through a collaborative effort number one is the family if you have a child with a person, you better find a way to love that individual. You better go out of your way to get all the skills that are needed to have a healthy co-parenting relationship. Project Daddy believes in the process one step at a time. So you better get all the resources possible to have a healthy co-parenting relationship. If you can display love and respect and discipline in this co-parenting relationship, maybe there's hope of restoring the family, but it takes diligence. Project Daddy believes in the process. And so we have to keep going. Long suffering. This thing will get hard. It will be difficult. But we have to be committed to doing good, man. It's Christmas time. And I want to bring wonderful cheer to my babies. But it's hard to bring wonderful cheer when they're trying to celebrate with their daddy. And I know that inside themselves, they can have a good time with me. Yes, they can. But they miss their mama. I respect that. I understand that. My children are wonderful human beings who not only want but deserve to have a balanced life. And I'm trying to provide that. And if I can't do it in time and effort, I try to do it with impact and energy. I try to give them as much of my attention as I possibly can because this Christmas week is so short. And so now that I'm able to watch my children sleep, I want to tell you and encourage you to continue to fight the good fight. Your children need you. Whatever the separation is, whatever the isolation is, talk to somebody. Leave some comments down there and talk to Project Daddy. I will reply. I guarantee you. 
I know how hard it is. And I don't want nobody going through the things that I went through. There was no support for me. I was just like, God, dog on it. I believe in miracles because my life has been changed and transformed through faith and gratitude. I believe in miracles because I'm about to go and make sure that my babies are okay. I believe in miracles because when my babies wake up, I'm going to make them breakfast and then we're going to play chess and we're going to have a wonderful time in the projects. Project Daddy and the motherfucking building hands up, hands up to the goddamn ceiling. The greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.